this is clearly uh, a solution in search of a problem. Uh, we hear these vague allegations. Uh, what often is stated is uh, that uh, you know, people don't feel very good about the voting system. They have concerns about the integrity of their ballot. Maybe we should identify those people and just simply hire a few therapists who could maybe try to help them through the difficulty they're having with their feelings about the, uh, the voting system. They strongly value the right to vote and they believe that it's important <coughs> that we protect the integrity of the process. I don't think that requires therapy. Um, I've had a, a, a number of people that, that I know and know and have respect for my district that have served as judges and have seen some practices going on, particularly, I think, particularly in the vouching area where there's some sloppiness and I think the discussion of the provisional ballot is that and the fact that sometimes these, this registration, you send, send them off and the cards come back, there's, the, the, either the address doesn't exist or they, they don't live there. It, it casts doubt over the process. And I don't think that people who have doubts necessarily need therapy either. And so I, that, that concerns me and I think that we ought not to be flippant about a, a process that is being offered in good faith to enhance the integrity and assure that people get to vote. Nobody's talking about trying to prevent people from voting. It's just being sure that we respect the constitutional provisions of what is required to vote and, and maintain that integrity. And Madam Chair, I didn't suggest that, that was Senator Newman's intent, but uh, we've been around this legislature for a while and we know many laws we pass have unintended consequences. That will be the unintended consequence of this legislation. When we put roadblocks up in front of every one of those citizens in the way in which this bill proposes, we are shrinking the franchise. We are, we are not letting those citizens' voices be heard in the most fundamental way that our state offers them. And if even one person who is an eligible voter is denied the right to vote through the actions of this bill, we ought to all be ashamed of ourselves.